stage six load shedding in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. We do expect that meeting from the Minister of Public Enterprises, Private Gordon, to start in just a few moments. Meanwhile, the city of Cape Town says it has contingency plans in place. The executive mayor of the city of Cape Town is Jordan Hill Lewis. Mr. Mayor, good evening. Thank you for your time. What, are you, what kind of impact is stage six load shedding going to have on your residents? Devastating impact, uh, Stephen, for everyone in South Africa and for everyone trying to run businesses in the economy. But fortunately, Cape Town uh, foresaw this a few days ago. We heard rumors on the wind that, that worse was coming. And we've been saving up our reserves at the Steenbrus uh, pump water scheme. And so we are able to protect residents in Cape Town from at least two stages of load shedding this evening and uh, for the next couple of days if this, if this terrible stage six continues. So Cape Town will be on stage four load shedding uh, and stage two load shedding uh, overnight when the pressure is relieved a little bit. So it's great to be able to protect our, our customers a little bit. But of course, even stage four is far too high for, uh, for the goals that we have to grow the economy. And so it just underscores how urgent our project to reduce our reliance on, on ESCOM and, and end load shedding in Cape Town altogether, how urgent that project is. As I understand the barrage systems, you do at some point need electricity to pump the water back so that you can use it during load shedding. How much protection do you actually have? How long can you do this for? We can do it so long as we've got uh, water in the upper dam and so long as the lower dam is not full. We are you know, maximizing the amount of water that we draw from the lower dam to provide fresh water to the city so that makes space at the bottom. And at the moment, the, the upper dam is quite full because we're in the middle of winter. So, so we've got some spare capacity at the moment, and we've deliberately been saving that spare capacity the last few days uh, so that we, because we had, we had a fairly good idea that, that this was likely, and it, is now, it, it has now come to pass. We've heard from so many cities about the problems with their infrastructure, which switching power on and off all the time. I mean... I'm not the only one, just about everybody lives in a place where the power's been off for too, much, too long because it takes too long to come back because of broken infrastructure. What impact is this load shedding, repeated load shedding, constant load shedding, having on your infrastructure in Cape Town? It also has a very negative infrastructure uh, impact on our infrastructure, and I really thank uh, residents for their patience because it does cause a lot of localized tripping. Those, those gray boxes that you see at the end of your street on the corner, those trip when, when they all come back online altogether. It's kind of like in your house when, you're, when you get a house trip and you try and put all the little uh, uh, switches up all together, it, it causes another trip. And, and that's exactly what happens on a, on a grand scale. So, so our teams are all obviously uh, on the road and, and helping to, to switch those back on. Fortunately, in Cape Town, we don't have those big explosions that sometimes happen elsewhere because our, our substations are, are quite well maintained and much newer so the substations can take the load it's really those those localized gray boxes that uh, that often trip and that means that some streets and and blocks of houses are, are are out for longer than the load shedding period which is very frustrating and inconvenient um, the Minister, Pravin Gordon, so he's the Minister of Public Enterprises. He has a um, legal responsibility, ministerial, political responsibility for Eskim. What do you want to hear from him when he speaks in a few minutes? Well, uh, there has to be some really strong language about the illegal strike that is taking place at these power stations. These are workers who are not allowed to strike. They are all declared as essential workers. Uh, and they are striking illegally. Not only are they striking illegally, but they are intimidating other workers into striking or not going to work. Uh, that is completely unacceptable. It's bringing the entire country to a standstill. It really threatens to collapse our economy. And, uh, and we're now at stage six, but there's a risk of even greater escalation. And so I would really like to hear some strong language about that. And then ultimately what we have to do is cut through all of the delay, all of the red tape, all of the regulatory concerns around the procurement of IPPs, open the doors and say uh, South Africa is in a power crisis and what we need is as rapid uh, procurement of new power as, as is possible without, without unnecessary bureaucratic delay. And that's certainly what we are trying to do in Cape Town as quickly as we can to reduce our reliance on ESCOM and end load shedding here for ourselves. Jordan Hill-Lewis, the Mayor of Cape Town, thank you very much indeed. Do appreciate it.